sleep. This is Mr. Winters. My wife is going to sleep for the night, and I was wondering what you were doing. I'll be right over after I finish with Mike. <laughs> Time to clock in. Oh, I got it. <laughs> I don't know. It's like, this is a weird class. Mike sucks ass, so it's amazing to watch him. Oh boy, that ain't good. The only thing I wanted to say before we get into the episode today is we've had so many views on all these episodes lately, but still not really growing all that many subscribers. If you're watching this episode right now and you're not subscribed to the channel, please hit the fucking subscribe button for the love of God. Other than that, there's only one thing left to say and that is welcome back to the night shift, ladies and gentlemen. You're working late and so are we. It's time to clock in. All right, yo, what's up? Last time I saw you, we were in Los Angeles. Now we're in a town called Boron. I'm sure we passed Boron by now, babe. Right now we're in a town called Moron. <laughs> but seriously, guys, we're just standing in the middle of the desert right now on our way to Las Vegas. We're going to Las Vegas. I still really don't know if it's like safe to be traveling and stuff, but... <laughs> <laughs> that was a burp. Guys, I just had the Burger King chicken fries for the very first time. They were bomb. We had to go to Burger King. Because as you can tell, there's not a lot around here. Just open space. Boron, Borax, Moron, wherever we are. It ain't got that much to offer. Anyways, I wanted to tell you guys, yes, we're driving right now. LA to Vegas. We're about to be at the win. And we'll pick you up again there. And now a word from our sponsors. All right, so today's video is sponsored by Raycon's Everyday E25 earbuds. These things are absolutely incredible. I what? Who the fuck is this? What is Why are you liking her goddamn picture? I'm in the middle of How many fucking times do I have to tell you do not disrespect me? Alright, folks, just give me one second. How many times do I have to tell you to quit liking these thoughts pictures, Mike? You think she's prettier than me? Is her butt bigger? As I was saying, I've been using these Raycon earbuds lately. They sound just as good as other top quality audio brands you know and love and started about half the cost. Also, as you can tell, they have a nice snug fit, which helps to isolate and remove background noise so you can enjoy your tunes and some peace of mind in challenging environments. Raycon's Everyday E25 earbuds are their best model yet with six hours of playtime, seamless Bluetooth pairing, more bass, and an even more compact design. So head over to buyraycon.com forward slash Mike M to get 15% off your order, and let's get back to work in the night shift, baby. Wow. You may be one of the first girls that I don't have to worry about booking the room, because you crushed it. I crushed it. This is a big room, babe. I crushed it. As you guys know, we come to Vegas quite often. We stay at different hotels. This girl is really accustomed to the finer things in life because of all the time that she spent with different rappers. I mean, uh, <laughs> so we're at the Wynn, traditionally known as one of the nicest hotels here in Vegas. So this will be perfect for our pictures couple sets that I want to take for my Instagram. Couples pictures in the bathtub? Yeah. So see bubbles all over us, sexy. <laughs> <laughs> this room has its own massage room. So let's get a masseuse up here. <laughs> My movies? I'm a masseuse. And a real estate agent. And a Girl Scout. <laughs> and a babysitter. Hold on, I wanna see if I can crack your back. Ow! <laughs> it hurt! Good morning, Las Vegas. What are you looking at, babe? <sighs> Oh my god. I'm pissed because I got that bomb dick this morning. Yeah, babe, wow. babe. Keep that shit for yourself. And why would that make you pissed? Because I want more. No, because that little drizzle. What the fuck was that? Yeah, because I'm running on empty, dude. <laughs> dude, I got no I got no cum left, what bro. Of, what kind of thing was that? It was like a drought. <laughs> I'm running low, dude. So why don't you just come on me, you little p See? All right, easy, champ, easy. <laughs> we don't talk like that anymore. We got kids on the way. Also, I gotta say, this looks like the graveyard shift shirt that I used to have, but it's pink. Paradise is that what you're calling it? It's got palm trees. This is dope. Probably coming out soon. Ma'am, your fruit platter? Give me that. Yeah. Would you like some coffee this morning? Yes. <gasps> Babe, every time. <laughs> you know, I haven't done this in years. I'm so sorry. <laughs> The other cup. This is gross. What the hell is this little miniature muffin, little dude? Muffin. David. Here, David, have your little muffin because it's like a nice pastry from Germany. There you go. Schmeckt sehr gut. <laughs> also, so this is your breakfast, right? Yeah. How is it $120? Why do we always get charged so much? Beats me. I must say, guys, this pineapple right here, top notch. The chef who made this, mmm. <laughs> Oh my god. All right, so you missed this last night, but we also went out to dinner at this place called Lavo. We ate way too much, but yo, we're getting back to normal life. Baby, horsey, I want one. Babe, is this what Vegas is now? Just standing in the middle of an enchanted oh, forest? I don't feel good. It's really hot here. 
So we just got back from dinner. Hi, it's me, Ashley. Oh yeah, that's right. Lana drank again tonight, so she's become Ashley the drunk slut. <laughs> you may remember her from Laguna Beach. Mike Malek was very nice to invite me out on his Vegas trip. I heard his girlfriend had to step out, so I took over. <laughs> babe, why do you have mashed potatoes all over your face? Babe, I'm not your babe. I'm <laughs> Ashley the drunk slut. Oh, that's right. I'm no one's babe. I'm a community. You're for the streets. <laughs> I'm for the streets now. <laughs> Hello? Yes, it's me, Ashley. This is Mr. Winters. My wife is going to sleep for the night, and I was wondering what you were doing. I'll be right over after I finish with Mike. <laughs> <laughs> Can you plug that hole? No, it's this one. Before I plug your hole? This trip to Vegas has been weird. Oh, but Babe just won a bunch of money. Oh yeah, I played blackjack. I was getting beat up at first, but then I got a good dealer, won, won a few thousand bucks, so which was high. nice. It's just not the same Vegas that it once was. <laughs> All right, <laughs> we're gonna leave you guys back. All right, listen, right behind us is a place called Top Golf. I'm here with David, the German videographer. We're about to meet Logan, Josie, and Josie's dad, Oakland A's all-star, home run slugger, Jose fucking Canseco. So right now what you're watching is Jose Canseco give his soon-to-be son-in-law tips on how to golf for the first time. It is ugly. Logan Paul has never held a golf club in his life and it shows right now. I don't care what anybody says, the most important game at the golfing range is hitting that little guy that drives around in the cart. Yeah, oh yeah, duh. This guy right here, right? Yeah, that guy. This cart looking ass, driving looking ass. He just drives around collecting golf balls thinking he's all high and mighty. I what, you think like, you're special or something? <laughs> Literally into outer space. Took down the International Space Station. All right, I'm back with Lana. She didn't come with me golfing because she's not a huge golfer, so she was shopping. Oh, Did you yeah, get anything nice? That's why I didn't go. We got a little bit of an argument as well. So I, I broke her off a couple racks to go shopping, you know? 200 bucks. <laughs> And of course, being the simp that she is, she now wants to take me to dinner to apologize to me for everything she's done wrong. Oh, damn, babe. Did you make res? I did not. Party for two? I did not. What? I told you to make reservations. No VIP access what here. can't get into this five-star establishment? <laughs> is this what you were waiting for? Yeah. Next stop, the gift shop. David, you ever been to the Cracker Barrel before? What's yours? Have I ever done crack before? No. It's the what do you got right there? I got an Arnold Palmy. Arnie Palmy alert. I'm waiting for to hand over the fit. All right, guys, so we got the cornbread and we got the biscuits. They got those same kind of biscuits in Dusseldorf. <laughs> David just told me that in Germany, when you get popcorn at the movie theater, what is it? It's usually the standard is popcorn with sugar. Popcorn with sugar, sugar instead of salt. Popcorn. Yep. That doesn't seem weird to you? No. <laughs> so here it is. We got country fried shrimp, mashed potatoes with gravy, macaroni and cheese, corn, fried apples. This is chicken fried chicken. We got French toast. We got eggs and bacon. We got the meatloaf with the hash brown casserole with green beans and dumplings and coleslaw. There we go. And hot sauce. <laughs> fried shrimp. Let me rate this uh, mashed potato. All right, go for the mash. Hey, David called Lana weird. Say sorry one more time. I'm sorry for being an asshole. For calling you what? Weird. As a mashed potato expert, Exquisite. Exquisite. All right, I'm gonna get after this chicken fried chicken. Oh yeah, and it's got a thick breading on it. Some of this gravy here. Oh yeah. What are you working on? Mac and, Mac and cheese. How is Cheesy. It? Cheesy? Cheesy. If you're a real one, you mix the fried chicken, put it on top of the French toast, grab a piece of bacon, bacon French toast fried chicken. Wow. <laughs> All right, so one of the big selling points of Cracker Barrel, as you can tell, we ordered just about everything on the menu. $58. Babe, this is my type of place. Cheap <laughs> All right, you heard her say three items make a Cracker Barrel. The talking parrot. Ow. The classic harmonica. And then the other thing was a ukulele, and evidently they don't have ukuleles at Cracker Barrel, so we replaced it with the Charleston Chew. Why don't you pop that harmonica open and play a tune for me? <laughs> Great song, babe. <laughs> that was great, babe. You really know how to blow. I know. Pretty good at it. <laughs> All right, welcome back to the beautiful Night Shift studio. That is it for today's episode of the Night Shift. But before I go, I know in the beginning of the episode, I showed the Night Shift sign and it was badly damaged. I do have some good news. We did have a maintenance team come in. They were able to triage the sign. It looks as good as new, as you can tell. So no need to worry there. Honestly, all this action for the sign really gets me to thinking, do you think it's time for a new sign? How much do you think that this sign could get on eBay? $1,200. $1,200? bucks. Yeah. Should I put it up, you think? Well, that'd be awesome. And then you donate it to the German videographer. <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah, but the problem is, this is like a piece of night shift history. Like, this needs to go in some sort of hall of fame. This is the original fucking sign. Sign number one. There's been other signs after, but this is the first one. I just don't know if I can part with it yet. But, that said, I will think about it, and I do want to say, the next couple episodes of the night shift are going to be absolutely crazy. I have some massive things planned. I know the show is usually pretty loosey-goosey, but I have something coming up this next week that's absolutely going to blow your guys' socks off, and I can't wait to show you that. But that is it for today's episode of the night shift. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and we are clocking out. Peace! <laughs> <laughs> Marissa! <laughs>